Here we go, Nikita Zoo. You're having some time off, but you've made it here to Brisbane. There's a big event coming on. You get to sit back and just watch it all. Yeah, it's uh, especially this event. This is something interesting. Like two v one. It's I've never seen it being done. It's only really being done in like training sessions. Um, I don't know back in the olden days if they've done it before, but something special about this. What are you looking forward to seeing the most? I reckon, yeah, Gallen and Hodges. I reckon that's going to be an interesting one. I've, I don't really know much about Ben, and I can see the rivalry between Gallen and Hodges, and it's interesting. There's, there's some spiciness to it. So uh, How are things going at Team Zoo in Sydney, the gym? Yeah, well, I've, I haven't really been training uh, since my last fight. I'm going to be starting um, basically when I get back now. Um, i got a fight coming up in October. And, yeah, just had a bit of time off, letting the body heal. I had a few little injuries that I had to take care of, some medical issues. And now things are getting back on track and time to do it again. Now that you've cleared those things out of the way, you must be seriously focused towards the end of the year. Yeah, well, I've been like eager to get back into training, but I knew, I know that I needed this time off. I needed to kind of force myself to not train. I've still, I haven't been able to fully resist that urge. I have been doing a little bit of punching at the punching bag at home. But yeah, like the energy, the fire, it's, it's heavy right now. And I just want to get in there and been doing a lot of research in the, in the time off and got, just want to test things out again. Obviously a little bit of inner work there as well. Have you learned a few things about yourself in your downtime and your quiet time? Yeah, um, well, from that last fight, there was a lot to learn. There was a lot of resilience I had to kind of push through and really showcase. Um, thing, things don't always go your way and it was a great lesson for me to have. And so early in the career, it doesn't usually happen like that. So I'm glad that all the circumstances what happened and the lessons I've learned. Mate, you're a superstar. We love watching you fight and we can't wait to see it again. Thank you. <laughs>